Unraveling idioms, out for the count, explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase in the English language, out for the count. This idiom is rich in imagery and usage, and understanding it can add a fun, expressive layer to your English communication. So, let's get started and explore what this phrase truly means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. The phrase, out for the count, originally comes from the world of boxing. In this sport, when a boxer is knocked down, the referee starts a count to 10. If the boxer cannot get back up before the count reaches 10, they are considered out, meaning they have lost the match. Metaphorically, the phrase has come to mean being completely asleep or unconscious, not just in the context of physical knockouts but also in terms of deep, undisturbed sleep. Additionally, it can describe someone who is exhausted or incapacitated in a figurative sense, unable to participate in activities due to tiredness or other overwhelming conditions. To help you better understand how to use, out for the count, let's look at some examples. 1. In the context of sleep, after studying for exams all week, I was out for the count by 9 p.m. 2. Describing exhaustion, after running the marathon, she was completely out for the count and needed to rest for the rest of the day. 3. Figuratively speaking, after the week-long conference, my brain is just out for the count. I can't focus on anything else. These examples show how versatile the phrase is, applicable in scenarios ranging from physical tiredness to mental exhaustion. When incorporating, out for the count, into your speech or writing, keep a few things in mind. It's typically used in informal contexts, perfect for casual conversations with friends or in narrative storytelling. Ensure the context involves some form of exhaustion, sleep, or inability to participate. This keeps the usage true to its meaning. Experiment with the phrase to describe situations creatively, making your English more vivid and expressive. We hope this exploration of out for the count has been enlightening and adds a colorful idiom to your English repertoire. Remember, idioms like these can make your conversations more engaging and show off a deeper understanding of the language. So, don't be afraid to use them when the moment is right. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video. Keep practicing, and you'll be mastering English idioms in no time.